but we first we have pulse lures coming in let's go ahead and check him out and see what is going on all right can you hear everything okay can you hear me okay yeah i can hear you all right sounds good okay and just uh introduce yourself and i, I know you're with pulse lures and i have some guys on the live stream want to see what you guys have to offer over there awesome thank you yeah my name is todd goad i'm one of the owners of pulse fish lures <clears throat> um we make what we feel is the best grounder type bait on the market um we've got a lot of different products that we have but um kind of our bread and butter is that scrounger type bait in our signature bait called a pulse jig so okay the pulse uh, jigs okay yeah so i've, I've heard yeah, of those before they're a very popular jig out here yeah it's a fish catcher especially on lanier and spotted bass love love a pulse jig <laughs> gotcha so yeah so guys keep that in mind for you guys that have been coming over here asking me about these clear water lakes like lake lanier lake russell lake hartwell this is one of the things that you definitely want to keep in mind okay all of them yeah for sure i'm going to flip my camera around and show you some of our products that we brought to the show today okay so so here is our pulse jig so we have it in a eighth ounce and a quarter a three eighths and a five eighths here at the show. And we also have a trailer that we have that goes with it, but we have it. We brought four of our best selling colors here today, Okay. but, uh, but we have it in five sizes and seven colors. Um, we also have a really good line of spinner baits called our pulse blade. Um, got those here today in, in a double willow leaf and a three eighths and a five eighths. Uh, got those. Okay. And those are your spinner baits. Uh, spinner baits are called a pulse blade. Okay, the pulse blade. Okay, gotcha. Yep, yep. And then I'll come over here, and uh, so we sponsor Matt Airy on the Bassmaster Elite Series, and him and I worked and designed probably the best underspin on the market called a spinning PJ. Gotcha. And, uh, we've got it in a quarter and a three eighths and a half. Let me show you okay. some of the cool features about this underspin. So we. Uh, we designed this, it's got a spro barrel swivel, it's got a light wire gamagatsu hook. Um, that guppy head, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that guppy head design is really popular. But one right. of the things that we really, really focused on, see the belly of this thing? This thing allows the bait to keel properly. Um, slow rolling, this is a half ounce model. You can slow okay. roll this through the ditches really good, especially at Lake Lanier. It's perfect. Oh yeah, for that. yeah, it, yeah. Now's the time for those ditches too. And so when you're saying that keel, so that keeps it even, so that the head doesn't kind of dip up or dip down. It keeps it level when it's coming through the water column, right? Absolutely. That keeps the bait from rolling. It will not roll. So um, just we feel it's the best underspin on the market. This bait. The blade will spin all the way from the beginning of the retrieve all the way to the end of the retrieve. So gotcha. pretty incredible underspin. And we have it, we have it in four colors. Um, we've got it in uh, our unpainted smoky and pearl and albino and Tennessee shad. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but we also we took that same design concept from that underspin, and we also have a finesse swim bait head. So these, these, these are designed by Matt Airy as well. And, uh, we, we have those in a quarter and a three eighths and a half ounce too. Okay. And one of the one of the neat features about this, it's got a screw lock keeper. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh yeah, definitely. That is almost a must have now because the price of the, the swim baits and stuff are going up. And that is definitely something that will save it as far as keep getting pulled in you know pulled off the hook and have to keep readjusting it Absolutely. And yeah that screw lock is great yep and uh here's what one looks like with that on there and you can i had a guy tell me today he caught eight fish on one kitek on our head earlier today when he came by our booth so wow okay yeah so we're we're excited to be here like i lived around lake lanier for 20 plus years i live in east tennessee now but uh, love, love Lake Lanier. Everything we have catches them really well here at, at Lake Lanier and other Clearwater Lakes, like you said. Hartwell almost won the All American in 2020 uh, on our eighth ounce pulse jig. So wow, okay. We're, we're excited to be here. Um, one other thing too, if you can't come to the show, 
I've been putting this in everybody's bag, but if you want to go to our website, you'll get 20% off your order if you use the code SHOW20. All right, SHOW20. Yeah. All right, SHOW20. In the website, um, I see it's kind of hard to see on there. What is it? Can you say it out for us? Yes, it's PulseFishLures.com. All right, PulseFishLures.com, guys. So go ahead and check out that website, and you'll see those products that he was just mentioning. And also, I have someone that has a question. Let's see. So we have Keith Matthews. His question is, do they make one with drop blades? Uh-oh. All right, so he, he just dropped out, but he will be right back. So we'll get that, that question up. But, yeah, I, I guess you guys could actually, actually see him in the screen. So he was in the, sh the other video shot, and um, that was him as he was showing the lures. All right, and I see a few other questions popping in here. So I'll just give him a second to just to come back on. But, um, yeah, so his booth is right across from where our booth is at right now. So he'll be back up in just a second. Um, sometimes we have connection problems inside of the, um, the center where we're at. But luckily, everything seems to be working okay on this end. Yeah, just tell me you can come right back up. All right, guys. And also, just want to double check. You guys can hear me okay. And actually, were you able to hear him, um, the rep from Pulse Lures? Were you able to hear him okay? And next time, what I'll do is have them actually kind of get the screen vertical. That may give a better picture whenever they're showing the uh, the products. All right, let me go ahead and pull him back up. All right, there we go. go. <laughs> All right. All right, so yeah, so that question, uh, Keith Matthews has a question. He says, do they make one with drop blades? Do you know what he's referring to with a drop blade? I don't, I don't know. I don't under, I don't know that question. I mean, our- Oh, our so maybe he's just, I think I understand what he's asking because he came back and clarified. He says, a, scroun a scrounger head with a drop blade, that is. So maybe an un a scrounger head with an underspin. So that is actually in development with us. Um, we're trying to, we just, we take so much pride in R&D and our company and what we put out on the market. I've been throwing something like that for three or four years now and cannot get the consistency that we want from that product. Gotcha. Um, the, the way that the bill, well, the way the bill is put on, you've got to have a wire that comes out behind it with that with that underspin blade exactly and we've had problems i can't get the bait to not roll on me if i reel it fast so it's still in the design phase in our in our process but but that is a good question i've had i've had a few people ask about that right yeah and i guess at this at this point if someone said i mean since it's not out yet so something that they could probably do with that is to make the i guess the the spinner how some people actually will cut the tail off of a swim bait and then put a twist lock with a little spinner bait in the back of it. You, you follow what I mean? So the, Absolutely. You still have the scrounger head, but then you can get that extra flash by having the, uh, yep. having the blade at the back end of the uh, swim bait instead of the, the tail yep. on it. So, that's yeah, that's old. That's the old Florida trick we do on worms too down there. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. that is a killer on the old ones, the nest baits too. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm really uh, appreciate you coming up. And if some guys have some other questions, I mean, maybe we'll come back over there and touch bases with you again a little later on as some more people come and enter into the live stream. But, yeah, really, really appreciate you taking the time to come up on the screen. i am come up on the live stream. And, again, guys, go to – it's PulseFishingLures.com. That's correct? It's, it's Pulse Fish Lures. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Pulse That's fine. Fish, Pulse Fish Lures. Dot com. Yep. And you can go there and check out those um, those lures. Actually, you can take a look at them now while we're on the live stream. But um, we'll probably have them come back up a little later for you guys to have questions and as more people come in. All right. And what was your name again? Todd Goad. Todd Goad. All right. Really, really appreciate you. Yep. Thank you for having me. Appreciate All everybody right. on, on your live stream here. All right. No problem. All right. Take care. All right. All right, guys. There we go. So we had a vendor. That is one of the vendors right there. So the thing to keep in mind with that, let me go ahead and move this out. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so those finesse swim baits, I mean, some some of you guys out there, you look at them and think, hmm, those are kind of a little basic. You know, I want something with a little more flair, a little more flash to it. That is what these guys are out here catching those big fish with, believe it or not. 
even those ones that have that extra flash on it, just that simple swim bait with that swim head on it. And one of the things that he mentioned is that kill, being able to have a bait that comes through that water column the way that you need it to. That is the key to catching these fish in the ditches. And he did mention that. Think about that, guys. So that and, and actually earlier this week, I did put out a video where we did discuss some ditch fishing. So that is one of the things that people are going to right now. Those fish are following those bait. And one of the things that you want to get is a swim bait to, to match the hatch, as we say in the fishing industry, guys. Matching the hatch. 